what's up everybody my name is Trofinet the babbling Belgian and welcome back to Thronebreaker the Witcher Tales we're still in Lyria of course because that's where the the game is place is situated in but uh, we well the Nilfgaardian war has officially begun last time we defeated a few Nilfgaardian squadrons and uh, since those battles were quite similar we're gonna try and change things up a bit because most of those battles uh, become interesting because of the opponent and not our deck because our deck stays the same for now but uh, let's start it off with a specific battle Lyrian fishermen claimed that vile monsters had emerged from beneath the water lilies of the Yavina's shallow shore waters they claimed the horrid beasts had large fish-like eyes and a scaly hide speckled with green bristles. It's a standard battle among the lilies against a monsters. So we will be using our normal deck, but we might be in a disadvantage at the moment because we lost morale after our last battle, uh, since I let those Nilfgaardian spies just go. And yeah, they don't, didn't really like that. So let's just see what we can do. I'm just gonna swap out a few of the sightmen. Uh, and a field medic, because I don't really need that. And uh, maybe one more sideman out of there. Yeah, two drummers should be enough. So let's finish redrawing. So, Arc Spore. Every turn on turn end, damage a random enemy by one. Death Wish, summon this unit from your graveyard and weaken it by four. Ooh. So if you try to destroy it, it actually just comes back. So that takes out the Wagenberg immediately, which is a bit sad. Let's just start things off with, uh, you know what, with the Wagenberg. There we go. And then let's just end it right there. Move two enemies, the water hack. Move two enemies to the row opposite this unit and apply torrential rain. So now the Wagenberg is really gonna die. Uh, which means we actually have whenever a card appears on this row. Hmm. I'm not going to get more out of that, so let's just get the Regiment Drummer out. Left, right, and use left, Neve right. to boost one of our units. Uh, the War Wagon is Blitz, so it might give us a bit more fodder before we move further. Yeah, let's start with the War Wagon and end the turn. One more Archispore. Could use just the drummer to get the blitz wagon out there. You know what? Let's do that. Let's get the war wagon out here. Put it right there. You can try to win them That all, gives us three armor. And then we can get the Rivian Pikeman also on that row. Uh, there's not to reason to why. fill that row up completely. And use the Wagenberg to do six damage on the back row before we lose the Wagenberg, because we're gonna probably lose that in the next turn. So that's good, nice turn, and we swapped out the numbers, which is great. So it's up to the water hack to do now. After five turns on turn start, spawn torrential rain on any row only once per battle. Okay, so the water hack can actually spawn more torrential rain on the board, which is fine by me. Just gonna let those units die and use an Arbalest maybe. Because that's very high damage and I should just not kill those after that. One there we go. That's 8 damage and it's just not dead so it's still gonna be there. And there we go. I don't know what happened there. Something attacked. What was that? So we passed. Uh, which means that... Oh, so the Light Infantry has a Death Wish now. That's because I upgraded that, right? So damage a random enemy by 5. I'm gonna pass as well. There we go. First round is ours by a lot. By a big margin, actually. So there we go. Another War Wagon, another Sightman, and another Drummer. So I'm just gonna swap out the Sightman for something more interesting. There we go. And two foragers. Uh, I could actually pass. But you know what? I'm not going to do that just yet. So let's just use the war wagon. Can't take any more. And do it like this. And the turn. So it spawns torrential rain now. 
which is fine by me. Ooh. Damage all units on this row, so it's... Ah, so it just, it makes a copy of itself, and this damages all units on its own row by tree. Fine by me. I think I should be able to work with that. I'm actually going to start using the foragers now. Um, but let's wait and use the drummer first so I can have one can in the next I turn. Use Meath and get uh, Reynard up top. No, wait. Let's use the Lyrian Arbalest because I'm going to get... Might actually use a third round. So let's just end the turn right there. Another water hack. That's gonna give us twice the five damage. Okay. Then we get the foragers that I wanted to use. So let's use one on the war wagon. One man's battle. So that destroys that. Right and we get 18. Then use the regiment drummer to get an arbalest out, which gives us give me a uh, four damage, I think. So that's enough to kill the rot fiend. And do three damage on that row. And that is that. Might actually be able to do more than just... Huh. Move an enemy to the other row. Okay. Fine. Fine. Let's just use the other forager. Go right there. And we get 23. And we can use Meave again to get Reynard up top now. You know what? I'm actually just going to... See if I can actually win this without performing more tasks than uh, getting to another row. So that's 20, which means... Because the forager keeps dropping. Um, and I have a lot of my graveyard, so I don't want to leave that to chance. So let's use the Lyrian Merlot to get me 19 points extra. There we go. So right now, I think we put Reynard up top, right? There goes the Forger again. Let's get the Drummer out of there. Put it right next Mom's to the time Forger. Like me. And use Meave Warhammer again to just ensure, yeah, we got Reynard out of there. So could also go for, you know what, go for Reynard first. So we can get him with the, the Drummer. And then we'll see how far we get. So the rain is still going to be there, but we got a lot more units right there. That is actually nice. Um, so Reynard is going to give us more charges, which is always nice. So let's use the drummer, get Reynard out of there. There we go. Discipline shall bring we us get victory. more charges. Then we use the next one to get Lord Caldwell out with the... Hmm. I think I still... No, I don't have any drummers left. So I'm just going to get another Arbalest out with Caldwell. If you insist. So that is six damage, if I'm not mistaken. Which means I can do this. I still have another card. So that's a Sightman. And put it over there. And if I now use the Lyrian Horn, I can actually damage... Hmm. I'm gonna wait with that. I'm gonna wait with that and just use the. Hmm. The Lyrian Arbalest? Yeah, the Lyrian Arbalest I'm on the boss. other Rot Fiend. There we go. And end the turn. There goes more Rot Fiends, which is fine by me. Let's use the Medic to put just... uh, another War Wagon down. So just more like units, and those that can actually do Death Wish damage. Then we get the Warhammer down for no other reason than to just get the damage spread out a bit. And that also does tree damage and does that again. There we go. Lovely, lovely, lovely stuff. And end the turn. And more Rock Fiends, which is fine by me. So that's 16 points every time. But I do get the Lillian Horn. Which is a nice spread out in damage. And that's three on the entire row over there again. And that should be enough, I think. There we go. Move six random enemies to the other row and damage them by two. So that means we yeah, do get a bit of damage. And then it happens again. And we get 
five damage from that one uh, that wish as well. There we go. Easily won that in two rounds from the what the heck. And it's lying down on the floor. Oh, poor thing. But not really. So let's just gather the corpses. Ooh, letter found. Malcolm, the roads are perilous. More black clads than mosquitoes out there these days. Getting to Dravograd is bloody impossible. For now, I've hidden the goodies in a secret box on the side of the inn opposite the temple. We can decide how to move it once the shite storm's calmed a bit. Until then, try not to die. Okay, so right next to the temple, which is interesting, because I still need to return over there as well. I'm actually, can I get that? Yeah, there we go. Got that. So that means I'm actually going to pay a visit back to the temple then, because uh, there's still that wyvern or fork deal that we could fight, but we couldn't before. So let's just do that first before we head towards the next village. So there we go, fast traveled over towards the temple and this is the gate we couldn't open. So I'm still looking for the key towards that. So I didn't find the inn just yet, but I did find another corpse pretty close to where the wyvern is. So let's check this out. Your Majesty, the strays of Spala slaughtered the entire village. Witnesses claim folk had refused the brigands aid. Have we the coin to give these poor souls a proper burial? Of course, we shall honor local custom and send them to the afterlife and we get more morale from that, which gets us back to green, which is perfectly fine by me. And I think through this way, we will be able to get to the wyvern, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, there it is. Okay, so let's open up these things a bit because there's more coin to add over here. So let's see what this monster is all about. Let's have a battle. So again against the monster deck. Behind the wall, is it not curious how priestesses so earnestly implore others to put their faith in the goddess's protection, yet surround themselves with walls, nine feet tall, nearly three thick, made of solid stone. A better guarantee of safety than even the most fervent of prayers, no doubt. Given the area in which they chose to erect their temple, this was probably for the best. So a standard battle, let's give these monsters hell, because now our morale is up, which means we have uh, plenty of ways to deal with that. So let's get our drummers out as usual, and maybe swap one Arbalest for the other, another drummer. Fair enough, I have everything I need uh, right here, I think so. Let's finish redrawing. Then, so we have the rabbit fork tail. So it was a fork tail. Permanent resilience after four turns on turn start. Consume the lowest units. Okay, and it can be units. And then harpy eggs. And on this turn's end, spawn one harpy egg. Which it just did, of course. Okay, seems like we should be pretty careful with this thing. Uh, we're gonna start off with a regiment drummer. So we can immediately use Meave to put one of the Arbalests up, because I need damage as fast as I can get it. Uh, or maybe, no, the Wagenberg is not a Blitz unit, so let's just go with the Arbalests uh, and end the turn. So yeah, this is going to be a typical monster deck, just spawning stuff constantly. So it's going to try and take out most of the eggs over there. Hmm... Should probably limit what it can do. So let's use the war wagon. Uh, you know what? No, let's wait. Let's use a normal... The war wagon on the lower hill. So we build that out. Then the regiment drummer with an arbalest over here. And use that arbalest to hit one of the harpy eggs. There we go. And that just spawns another harpy which also spawns a harpy egg. Okay, so it actually does that. Okay, that's gonna be a problem. That is gonna be a problem, although it's gonna be gonna be filling up fast, of course. And if I start, if I want to take out that rabbit fork tail that's over there, I'm gonna have to do that rather quickly. Could put down another drummer, because the next turn we're gonna get two consumes on the eggs. And yeah, that's gonna hurt. So let's go with the drummer. Left, right, 
Left. And right. then Meave Warhammer. And get um, is the Rivian Pikeman. Yeah, the Rivian Pikeman is a blitz unit, so let's use that right now. And it sadly damaged one of the harpies, which means that he's gonna consume those two eggs and all the harpies in the next turn. Okay, this is gonna hurt. Okay. Oh, so it, it even consumes my units. That is interesting. Ooh, I really need to take out that rabbit fork tail. So with the drummer, I can get Caldwell out. And Caldwell makes copies of units. Um, I have only three drummers, I think, in my deck. Oh, no, I have another drummer. Never mind. So that means that I can use... The regiment drummer to get the pikemen out. Let's put them all Dave on the same row. Again. Then we can use Illyrian Arbalests to just fire off the... Uh, what do I want to destroy here? So that's 7 damage. Gonna use the 7 damage on the rabbit fork tail. So if I keep stacking that, should be able to take it out um, and turn. Oh, it passed. Oh, for fuck's sake. I totally missed that. Did that pass the, in the previous turn already? Totally missed that. Okay. Passing then. You won the round. But of course, the fork tail is going to stay there. So we have nine cards. We can't go over ten. Which means I should take advantage of all of that. Um, let's put the war wagon down. Carny battles. Hungry like a wolf I am. So he's doing the same thing again. Um, do I want to try and take out the fork deal this time? Might actually want to try that. So let's use the drummer. Again and again. And then Meave's ability again. to get Caldwell out because he's a blitz unit as well. We can use him in the next turn then. So a slizzard, every turn on turn start, increase the counter by 1 and damage a random enemy by 2. And that wish multiply this unit's counter by 3 and damage a unit by that amount. So they can actually choose that, which is fine by me. Let's use an Arbalest so I don't miss anything here. So let's use the Arbalest. And use that on the Fork Tail. Use the Regiment Drummer to get Caldwell out and put him between the Arbalest and the Drummer. And that gives us another Drummer. Um, and an Arbalest which can like actually me. take out the Rabbit Fork Tail. There we go. So goodbye Resilience, goodbye Constant uh, Consuming. And then yeah, that's that. So we should keep this up. If we get more Fork Tails, we're just going to focus on the Fork Tails. And I think I might actually just continue on our path here. So we do get another drummer which we can use. Uh, it's probably going to be... Might actually just use him now. Wait, I'm just going to use the Lyrian Arbalest. I'm a and take out the Slizzard. Yeah, let's just take out the Slizzard to avoid him doing damage. Then we can use the drummer to get whatever is in there. There we go. Use Meave's Warhammer abilities to get... Um, there's not much here, actually. Uh, well, Illyrian Sidemen. Sometimes, sometimes it's weird. It doesn't really show everything that's in my deck. Although it might actually be the only things left in my deck. There we go, taking care of the eggs a bit, but that just spawns more stuff, which is not really in my favor here, but let's end the turn. And there we have another Slizzard. Uh, just gonna use my Forager to take out the other Forager, and we'll see what happens by the end of this. Use it. There we go, a Forager of 40, which means that I can actually use the Merlot next turn to do uh, 40 points extra. Transform all Harpy eggs into Harpies and then, what the hell? And boost self by three for each transformed. Okay. I'm starting to fear for what might happen. The Forktails don't trigger again. So I don't think they'll be able to do any more damage. 
Let's just use the Lyrian Merlot. And there we go. A 42 poor fucking infantry. It's called light infantry here, but that card usually was the poor fucking infantry. And use me Warhammer again. Spread the damage a bit and the boost once more again. There we go. We use her ability probably quite a few times already. And let's end the turn. And now we get a bit of damage from this lizard, but I mean, we're gonna... We're gonna be fine. We're gonna be fine. So let's just use the Lyrian Horn now. And see what happens. Because it's all out of my hands now. It was a lot of damage. But uh, it's all out of my hands. We're 131 points ahead. Which is uh, diminishing by the minute. But that's it. Because of course it's roads are filled. So it can't do anything else. Which is a bit of a downside of that deck probably. But there we go. Victory against the Rabbit Forktail. And his uh, harpy friends. There we go. Plutocracy, don't know what that means. Probably we got a lot of money in total. That's two trophies in a row. Fortune smiles upon us. Those priestesses bought my story, blubbering and all. They accepted me as a pupil, but getting me hands on the cellar key was the tricky part. Still, I've gotten it now too. They've riches stacked to the ceiling. Gods be praised indeed. Wait for me tomorrow night at the foot of the embankment at the south wall. I'll carry what I can manage. P.S. Keep an eye out. Probably just a wife's tale, but I got word some sort of nastiness has taken root in the wood. Well, it actually did. It actually did. So that means there's another chest hidden around there. I can probably open this up now. There we go. Opened up the shortcut. And then the south wall. Or is that just what we were talking about? Yeah, probably he's he's at the south wall because the forktail was at the south wall. So we only need to find that chest located at the inn. So I'm gonna actually use my resources to upgrade the royal treasury, which allows us to equip three trinkets in our deck. And I'm gonna use that immediately. What the hell is this? Oh, so I upgraded the royal tent, so it's a, there's a golden chest next to it constantly. So I'm going to use the command tent and then get a decoy into our deck as well. So that doesn't cost anything. It's just a trinket like the Lyrian Horn and the Lyrian Merlot. So uh, there we go. Let's save that up. And I'm going to actually assume that the chest is, uh, the treasure is buried further on. So we're going to keep going uh, in the direction we were going originally. Son, your majesty. They saw him walking along the road. It didn't slow. Not one bit. Oh. Lady, I've nay much, but I'll gladly give me last coin for the cause, for vengeance. Okay, there we go. We got a bit of money out of that. Think cost less no dogs. Okay, so that's thank you, thank you, good sir, for the for your funds. I'm actually just looking around a bit. So that's the water hack we killed. So we can move through this area and then towards the north. And now we come to a little village, which is actually in disarray, Elsterberg. Neve and company the Black passed sheep. by a village evidently pillaged by the Nilf Guardians. From afar they had heard cries, but as they drew near they recognized them not as cries of grief, but as cursing cries of anger. Give him a proper walloping, the scoundrel! <laughs> Mercy, good folk! I've done nothing wrong! The villagers stood gathered near the hamlet's center, surrounding an elf, bloodied and cowering. Stones in hand, the peasants threatened and cursed him. Okay. The queen demanded an explanation. A ruddy-faced blacksmith stepped forth and spit. A Nilf guardian spy the horse and his your majesty. He's the one brought him here to raise the village. He's got to hang. The other villagers agreed with the smith. The elf fell at the queen's feet and groveled. Have mercy, Ren. Save your loyal subject. They lie. They fought me only as I am an elf. So Rena is the elven word for queen. So it's not because he wants to, he thinks he knows her name, but just because he calls her queen. Save your loyal subject, they lie. Let the humans meet out their justice or spare the elves' life. But I've been friendly to non-humans uh, for now, so let's just continue the trend. Whence this certainty of his guilt? Have you any proof? Asked Neve. Did anyone see him communing with the foe? Did he hold any coin with a foreign stamp? The villagers eyed Meave angrily, their hands clenched into fists. Yet none dared utter a word in protest. Know this. 
The Blacklads need no reason to pillage our homes. Now stand aside and let this wretch go. The elf tearfully thanked the queen, then begged her not to leave him behind. Instead, he pleaded vehemently to join her retinue. Your most noble grace, please, I beg you. As soon as you're gone, the Dwan will hang me from the nearest tree. Okay. So let the elf join your company. Yeah, why not? Hmm, so be it, said the queen after a moment's uh -oh, consideration. Uh-oh, decision made. Find the quartermaster. He's to put you to work. And now we march. The villagers gazed with hatred oh, as the company extra? left the hamlet. When its thatched roof huts disappeared beyond the next bend, Meave breathed a sigh of relief. Okay, so we got ourselves a new elven companion. Uh, with that done, I'm going to take a little break. So next time, I'm actually going to check out whether we can actually talk to our new companion or not. But uh, before we do that, I'm going to take a little break. So thank you guys enormously for watching. And I hope to see you guys in the next episode of Thronebreaker The Witcher Tales. Goodbye.